This is one of the last pieces of my 3D printed surfboard that I made here at home with these machines. And today we're gonna put it all together and find out whether or not it works or broke into one of these 23 different pieces, maybe more. My name's Tanner, I'm a professional surfer, a content creator, and a mechanical engineer. Welcome to my channel. This whole idea started a few months ago when I started Narlu Design and Engineering and bought these new machines. Since then, I've been experimenting with everything from logos to fins, and building a surfboard was without a doubt fresh on my mind. It's based off of this Chemistry Surfboards cassette deck, an old faithful of mine. Now, onto the construction of the board itself. It's made of, you guessed it, plastic. Neon orange PETG filament to be exact, straight from Amazon Prime. The individual pieces were all printed at a 6% infill, meaning 6% of the volume inside is plastic. The pieces themselves are connected together with triangular dowels and epoxy resin. I'll spare y'all the rest of the super technical mumbo jumbo in this video, so subscribe for a much more detailed analysis and breakdown in the coming weeks if you're interested. Anyway, let's dive in. She's ready to hit the water. I'm so nervous right now. I figured I would show chemistry, my 3D printed surfboard. Considering I modeled it after one of my favorite boards from them. Holy shit, dude. This thing is sick. Is it gonna float? I hope so. <laughs> Whoa, this is crazy. Right? A phenomenal job. Does it feel like a cassette deck? A plastic one? <laughs> You're gonna, you'll, you'll serve it, but it, it seems like... You know it's gonna be real flexy. You know what he almost needs is a big hot coat on it. We have officially made it to the pier. Thank you, Jet, for coming to help me with this video. Of course. It's gonna be really sick. The day has finally come where I get to ride my 3D printed surfboard. I have low expectations. I don't even know if it's gonna float at this point. I have learned a lot since I really started designing this and 3D printing it. I'm a little worried that it will break in half or crack or fill up with water. It's probably close to 20 pounds. Over-engineered it because I would rather not have it break on the first turn. Back in me, I got these two new 3D printers. Immediately thought like, what could I make with this? Be absurd. The first thing that came to my mind was a surfboard. Modeled it after my favorite board, or one of my favorite boards, the cassette deck from Chemistry Surfboards. Start to finish, it's been about four months, but there's been a lot of downtime. Took about two weeks of nonstop printing to print all these pieces, including all the failures. Wow, sorry, I'm getting distracted. The waves actually look really fun. I'm just really nervous, to be completely honest. I'm so nervous. I picked orange because it's bright as hell. Yeah, it was also on sale on Amazon. Basically what I did, I stuck this other twin fin on the ground in my backyard, took a tape measure and probably a hundred different measurements, took those measurements and recreated a CAD file with as little effort as I could, to be honest, because I didn't want to spend three days working on a, a file for this and it not work at all. I split that single body into 23 different pieces because my printers can only do an eight by eight by eight inch cube, triangular dowels, and then I epoxied everything together on my deck and you can see that it took a piece of the deck with me. There was a little bit too much resin. I, I didn't really have any of the right tools to make this happen. The leash plug is, I think, just there for looks at this point. I'm a little worried that if I put a leash in it, it's just gonna rip out. I didn't reinforce it whatsoever. I had to throw the flames on there for sure. And the chemistry logo, that's one of the beautiful things I think about making this is your possibilities are pretty limitless. For proof of concept, I think we're ready to go out. I have to go suit up and get this thing in the water. Let's go, it's time. See, this is a classic surfer move. It doesn't matter how high tech we get, we still have to shove wax in the dings of our <laughs> First session, 3D printed surfboard. Here we go. <laughs> Hey! It floats! Save yourself, I'll save you two next time around. First wave. I fully expected it to break, so now we can actually try something else.
I tried to do a 360 and it broke in half. It's a sad day to be a 3D print surfboard. Actually, no, it's a really sick day to be a 3D. Dude, that one ride I got was so sick. Oh, uh, I knew I shouldn't have tried that 360. As soon as I pushed, the board just broke in half. It also took on a lot of water. <laughs> but wow, man, it worked. It fully worked. Back to the drawing board. Four months of work for 10 minutes. Pretty glorious 10 minutes if you ask me. I can make this a lot better. V2 is coming back stronger and better. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this, my channel. I've got a lot of cool stuff coming up. I'm gonna ride some big waves, 3D print some more like obnoxious things and just keep having fun. Let's go. <laughs>